evening one and all today in this video we are going to know about world's second cloned buffalo calf named garima this is garima you may be thinking that why i am not focusing on the world's first cloned buffalo calf you will be knowing about that in the coming slides coming to buffalo population in india india is home to more than 56% of world buffalo population although we have a huge livestock population we are facing acute shortage of feed and fodder resources the scarcity of the superior superior quality of animals is seen in india many of our buffaloes are low producers of milk this is posing huge challenges in substantially increasing country's milk production out of around 100 million milk cattle and buffaloes in the country 47 million are buffaloes 11 million are crossbreed cows or hybrid cows and 45 million belong to indigenous cattle breeds or native cattle breeds milk refers to animals which give milk Scientists at National Dairy Research Institute, Colonel in Rajasthan, have developed the landmark technique that is hand-guided cloning technique and have produced the world's first and second cloned buffalo cows. Both the world's first and second cloned buffalo cows are produced at National Dairy Research Institute Kernel, which is present in Rajasthan state of India. This is the entrance of the uh, NDRA Institute. This technique is simpler and is an advanced modification of the conventional cloning technique, conventional, nothing but traditional, which was used in olden days, which was used for the production of cloned sheep, that is dolly. Uh, we may wonder that to produce dolly, the cloned sheep, cloned sheep uh, scientists, they did 270 trials to produce dolly. Hand-guided cloning technique. This new technique in, is less demanding in terms of equipment, time, and skill. The oocytes in this hand-guided cloning technique, the oocytes isolated from abature ovaries were matured in vitro, denuded, treated with an enzyme to digest the zona and then enucleated with the help of handheld fine blade. Here, oocytes are taken from abature ovaries. Abature ovaries means uh, the ovaries which are taken from the slaughterhouse or which are taken, in the, uh, taken from the dead animals. And these were matured in vitro, means in laboratory or in artificial conditions. And they, they are treated with an enzyme to digest the zona. Zona is nothing but zona pellucida. It is a layer which is uh, surrounded with the ovum. And then enucleated with the help of handheld fine blade. Enucleated nothing but removing the nucleus of the ovum with the help of handheld fine blade this is uh, we can um, we can see the size of the ovaries abature ovaries which were taken from the slaughterhouse of buffaloes then somatic cell from ear of a donor buffalo was propagated to be used as a donor nuclei actually uh, we are we took oocyte from the abature ovaries and that is enucleated but we need uh, nuclei from the donor donor cell uh, that is the somatic cell somatic cell nothing but body cell and they took it from the part of the ear uh, ear uh, they took it uh, from the ears buffalo's ear this is how the process goes uh, this is done in the aperture ovaries of buffalo's egg or oocyte is taken and the nucleus is removed that is called as enucleation and somatic cell and from the somatic cell nucleus is uh, taken out and uh, enucleated cell of abature ovaries and the nucleus is fused with the technique called electrofusion and then it is developed uh, to the 
different stages of the embryo like morula, blastula, grastula. And this is the first stage of the uh, fetus uh, or zygote called marula. First stage of the zygote is called marula. Then the, U, the E nucleated oocytes are then electrofused. Electrofusion is a related phenomena by which neighboring cells can be induced to fuse by applying a pulse of electric field with donor nuclei cultured, grown in the laboratory, and the resultant embryos were transferred to the recipient buffaloes or surrogate buffaloes. They are so called as surrogate buffaloes for the production of, of, of desired gender. One of the biggest advantages of this technique, that is hand, hand guided cloning technique is that uh, we can produce the cough of desired sex, either male or female. This indicates female and this symbol indicates male. This technique helps in boosting the growth rate milk in India. The world's first buffalo cough through the hand-guided cloning technique was born on February 6, 2009 at NDRA, National Dairy Research Institute, Colonel, which died within seven days after its birth due to pneumonia. Sub uh, subsequently, the second cloned cough, Garima, this is the picture of Garima, and it was born on 6, 6th June, 2009, with the birth weight of 43 cages. There is an acute shortage of outstanding bulls and this technology can decrease this gap and supply the allied bulls in the shortest possible time. Thank you all for watching and listening to this video. Recently in 2020, NDRI cloned 16th buffalo cough named Tejas. Thank you all for watching and listening to this video.